Ready to go? I'm ready. Here we go. A team from Duke University is trying to find out. An MRI is a machine designed to see the flow of blood. If an area of the brain is active, it will detect the blood rushing in and display it on a screen. Okay, Garrett, as a reminder for your responses, when you're doing the color task, I want you to press your index finger for lighter and your middle finger for darker. Here we go. The subject is asked to time a series of flashes. The areas of the brain that perform this task should light up. Sure enough, a region deep in the most primitive recesses of the brain reveals itself. Called the basal ganglia, it's hot-wired to the cells that connect to the senses. Here at the basal ganglia nuclei, the, this is a set of nuclei that's responsible for monitoring all of the brain. And it's monitoring everything that's going on across the cortex. Let's start right there. The basal ganglia is our timing center, the brain's conductor. Only, only one forte, forte there, double, okay? One. The basal ganglia is comprised of billions of spiny cells, and each and every one is itself a conductor. cell keeps tabs on its own part of the orchestra of incoming signals. That's how we're able to react so readily to danger. Under the influence of stress hormones like adrenaline, the tempo picks up. The oscillatory frequency of the neurons actually increases. They, they actually are going faster under conditions of arousal. So, so when we're afraid and we fear the danger coming, uh, we release adrenaline. This adrenaline causes the, the neurons to fire faster. And so essentially we do have faster clocks. So not only are we getting greater resolution because of the focus of all of these neurons onto a single event, we're also getting a more rapid time base.